greetings. I am Lord Anthony Uber, here to discuss about homogeneity and heterogeneity of population. Homogeneous population are unlike and heterogeneous population are unlike or distinct from one another. Homogeneous population has little variation. You could refer to a specific trait such as hair color or you could refer to genetic diversity. First, let me explain what is genetic diversity. Genetic diversity is the total number of genetic characteristics in the genetic makeup of a species. It ranges widely from the number of species to differences within species and can be attributed to the span of survival for a species. Genetic diversity serves as a way from population to adapt to changing environments. In homogeneous sampling, all the items in the sample are chosen because they have similar or identical traits. For example, people in a homogeneous sample might share the same age, location, or environment. The selected traits are ones that are useful to researchers. It is a type of purposive sampling and it and is the opposite of maximum variation sampling. Heterogeneous population is one where the individuals are not similar to one another. For example, we would have a heterogeneous population in terms of human that have migrated from different regions of the world and currently live together. But the population would likely be heterogeneous in regards to height, hair texture, disease immunity, and other traits because of the varied background and genetics. A heterogeneous population, for example, is one where every member has different value for the characteristic you are interested in. For example, in everyone in your group varied between 4, 3, and 50, and seven six tall, they would be heterogeneous for height. In real life, heterogeneous population are extremely common. For example, patients are typically a very heterogeneous population as they differ with many factors including demographics, diagnostic, test results, and medical histories. Let's say the image below presents two populations of parrots. The homogeneous population has parrots of the same size and color. The heterogeneous population in parrots of different sizes and colors. Next one is sample size. The act of determining the number of observations or repetitions to include in a statistical sample is known as sample size determination. An empirical study in which the purpose is, the purpose is to make differences about a population from a sample must consider the sample size. The sample size for a study is usually decided by the cost, time or convenience of gathering data, as well as the necessity for sufficient statistical power. In more intricate investigations, several sample sizes may be used. For, exam for example, in a stratified survey, different sample sizes may be used for each strata. In a census, data is sought for the entire population, hence the sample size is set to be the same as the population. There may be variable sample sizes for each group in experimental design, where study may be divided into distinct treatment groups. Sample sizes may be chosen in several ways. Using experience, small samples 
though sometimes unavoidable, can result in wider events, intervals, and risk of errors in statistical hypothesis testing. Second is using a target variance for an estimate to be derived from the sample eventually obtained. If a high precision is required, this translates to a slow target variance of the estimator. Using a target for the power of a statistical test to be applied once the sample is corrected. And the last one is using a confidence level. The, large, the larger the required confidence level, the larger the sample size, given a constant precision requirement. And that's the ending of my presentation. Thank you and bless.